Hey church, I just wanted to reach out to you with a quick informational video on our COVID-19 uh, precautions we uh, have been taking and are going to continue to take uh, here at Crossroads Wadsworth. Uh, we love being together uh, in person and getting to worship together uh, in person and all these precautions that we've been taking are really what helps make that happen. Uh, the social distancing, staying six feet apart, the lack of congregating uh, around doors uh, and entryways, uh, the doors being propped open when you come in or somebody opening them for you, uh, the, the bathrooms being sanitized between the services, uh, all that's to, to help us uh, continue uh, to meet together. So I just wanna take a minute and, and remind you to continue as you come on Sunday, to, to continue to follow those precautions, uh, not to let up, not, not to get lazy uh, in following those uh, precautions. Uh, especially as cases go up and uh, more and more people that you and I know locally are getting hit with uh, the virus. I also want to talk about uh, masks, talk about face coverings. I announced this Sunday that for our 9.30 a.m. service, we're going to be trying something new. Uh, we're going to be enforcing mask wearing for that 9.30 uh, a.m. service starting on starting this Sunday. Uh, since we've reopened after our after the initial shutdowns we've really seen the power of coming together and, and meeting together and and worshiping together and and really we just want as many people as possible to come and to be able to worship worship with us and and, and to feel safe uh, as they do that so that's really the heart behind this decision it's not made out of fear uh, it's not made because we're taking any sort of side and any argument uh, we just want to help make make people feel comfortable uh, as they come here. So, so, so we're going to try this out for four to six weeks and, and maybe reevaluate, see how it's working. But the idea is you show up at 930 AM, you can be sure that everybody who's not conducting this, unless they're connecting the service on stage, uh, who's 10 and older will be uh, wearing a mask uh, the whole time uh, while they're in this building. So I wanted to, to remind you of that or, or announce that if you weren't there Sunday. Uh, also, what does this mean for the 11 o'clock service for the second service? Uh, well, from the time that the governor issued the mask mandate um, for face coverings in all public indoor spaces for people 10 and older, we, we have encouraged and expected uh, everybody to wear masks. You know, we have signs at the doors. Uh, we have the uh, masks available at each entrance. And so I just wanted to continue to communicate today that, that this is still expected. We still want you to wear a mask uh, when you're here. Uh, but we do understand that there may be valid health reasons why an individual can't wear a mask. Uh, so we're, we're not enforcing it. We're not asking, you know, we're not, we're not asking about anybody's health uh, issues or, or, or pressing into that, just trusting that, trusting you to make uh, the, the, the decision. But, but please, if you can wear a mask, please wear it in a church, uh, wear it throughout the service, you know, while we're singing, uh, during the sermon, all that, and only taking it off maybe to, t to take communion uh, or when you get uh, outside of the doors uh, of the church. Uh, we want to continue to encourage and expect that uh, in the 11 o'clock service. Uh, thanks for listening uh, today. I'm, I'm really excited about this Sunday. Remember, uh, along with communion, we're going to be taking an offering uh, for people in need. It'll all go, all go towards our November Go Serve project where we're going to be providing food uh, for people that need food or just need, need a little bit of help during this hard time. Uh, people in our church, people that, uh, that we know of, uh, from our church body. So I'm really excited about that, excited to take communion, excited uh, to, to gather that offering and, and get the food into the hands of people who need it. And uh, so make sure you come out this week. Uh, and if you can't make it in person uh, and you're gonna be watching online, you can also give towards that project uh, on the app. You can just tag it uh, as, as Go Serve uh, Thanksgiving Food Project. Looking forward to it, see you then.